Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so as per promise, uh, the first of at least three practical examples on Euler substitutions for integrals. Uh, but yeah, if you have not watched example zero, you should because there we name all three Euler substitutions and we say why they're helpful as well as uh, why they work, yeah? And so example zero is the most important example. Okay, we also said in example zero that anytime you're given a problem, you shouldn't reinvent the wheel and do all over again the things we did in example zero. We should just start with the formulas uh, that we came up for x in terms of t and each Euler substitution. So this is the first Euler substitution and there we said um, first Euler substitution. Um, and there we said, not we said, we derived that x needed to be this uh, in the case of the first Euler substitution, uh, which is when a is greater than zero in the quadratic, right? Okay, cool. So we're gonna begin with this as we should. We look at uh, our quadratic inside the square root and we see that a is equal to one, uh, which is equal to b, which is equal to c. Okay, cool. So then we're gonna begin by saying that um, x is equal to t squared minus one, because c is one, over b is one minus two t, a is one, so root one is just one. So we begin with x equaling this right hand side, yeah? Okay, cool. Now, the way we got to this x T relationship here is uh, we said in example zero that the very beginning of the Euler substitutions is to figure out what we should let the square root of ax squared plus bx plus c b in each situation. And the first Euler sub, what we said is we should let this here equal um, x root a plus t. And in fact, it is by beginning here that we figure out what x should be in terms of t. Okay. So what we're saying is that this denominator here is really, it's really um, x root a plus t. Well, since a is one in this case, it's just x plus t. So it's really x plus t. Oh, okay, cool. So if that's so, then in order for us to rewrite our integral all in terms of t, uh, we need to figure out what x plus t is. Well we have right now one divided by, our integral right now is one divided by um, x plus t uh, dx. And for this x, we have our replacement handy, right? And so we can figure out what x plus t is. And so thereafter, we need to figure out what dx is in terms of t, and we're good to go. Uh, first, let's figure out what x plus t is. So if x is this, then x plus t has to be equal to t squared minus 1 divided by 1 minus 2t, that is x, plus t, right? But of course, let's not be silly and get common denominators. So 1 minus 2t, right? Okay, so x plus t is really actually, x plus t is really actually uh, t squared minus 1 plus t minus 2t squared divided by 1 minus 2t. But let's clean up here. So t squared minus 2t squared is just a minus t squared. So I could get rid of that there. Otherwise, we have this divided by uh, 1 minus 2t. Okay, that's x plus t. Ah, I see. So our integral is taking shape. Right now, it looks like we have the integral of 1 divided by x plus t is 1 divided by this quotient, which is just a reciprocal of that quotient. So it is uh, 1 minus 2t uh, divided by uh, minus t squared minus 1 plus t. Okay, this is looking good. The only thing that has an x is dx. So as soon as we figure out what dx is in terms of t, we're good to go, right? So I don't need this anymore. And beginning with this x here, right, dx is just a matter of the quotient rule, right? So dx will equal um, 2t times 1 minus 2t minus uh, t squared minus 1 times negative 2, o divided by 1 minus 2t 
O squared like this, and of course DT, right? Okay, cool. Um, I hope this simplifies, does it? Yes, keep a secret. So uh, we get 2T minus 4T squared, uh, and then uh, the minus minus from the 2 here, I could just write a plus 2 here. That'll make our lives a little bit easier, right? Uh, and so now it's plus uh, 2t squared minus 2, okay? So minus 4t squared plus 2t squared is just minus 2t squared. And so that allows me to get rid of this and just write a minus 2 in the tail end here, right? And then we have that divided by uh, 1 minus 2t squared dt. But wait, this in turn is equal to, I can factor out a 2 from the numerator. So when I do, I'm going to get 2 times, ah, deja vu, t minus t squared uh, minus 1, all over 1 minus 2t squared uh, dt, like that, right? Okay, cool. So this is dx. Deja vu, 1 minus 2t, and that quadratic also, because look here, if I replace... Uh, dx with this right hand side first I can throw the 2 in front right and that's that 2 otherwise I have uh, t squared uh, no not t squared my bad I have t minus t squared I'm focused on the t squared minus 1 uh, divided by uh, 1 minus 2t o squared and then dt right okay look here uh, minus t squared, minus t squared, minus 1, minus 1, plus t. Ah, so these two guys are identical. So I could go boom, boom. And then 1 minus 2t uh, here can be crossed out, and I could get rid of that. So you see what we have is the same as just 2 times the integral of uh, 1 over uh, 1 minus uh, 2t dt. Yeah, okay. Now... I don't know if you'll need to th think a little bit more, but this is just the negative of the natural log of uh, 1 minus 2t and then plus c. Yeah? Okay, only our integral had an x to start. So how do we get back to that? Remember, um, uh, root x squared plus x plus 1 we said is equal to x plus t. So that means that um, the square root quantity minus x is equal to t. All right, so we have a way to replace t. And so our final answer is going to be minus the natural log of, uh, and then it's going to be 1. And then minus 2 is going to multiply all of t. So when I do, when I multiply uh, t by minus 2 to get minus 2t, Minus 2t is going to say a minus 2 right here, and then a plus 2 like that, right? So it's going to be um, it's going to be 1, actually, yes. Why did I erase it? And then minus 2t is as I have it right here. So I'll lead with the positive term, 2x, and then minus 2 times the square root of our bothersome guy, which unleashed this whole path, uh, the square root quantity, right? That's why we did all this. Plus C. Cool, yeah? Hope you enjoyed it. Keep watching. Take care.